Good afternoon, YouTube. This is one of the Banana Jack brackets that I make and use for my 12 volt uh, lighting around the house, and I'll show you how I make one. Okay, so what I use to make those brackets, I just get a pair of Banana Jacks here. These come with a little kind of a mounting tab. I replace these with a piece of inch and a quarter PVC angle and what I do is these things are spaced about three quarters of an inch 19 millimeters roughly since I make quite a few of these I made myself a little template here or a little drilling jig it's out of a piece of aluminum channel that I had and so I've marked off a series of holes spaced out to match these. Uh, for a simple bracket, I'll just use two of these. And if I'm doing a more complicated bracket, I might put four uh, holes in there or six. You know, so I'll, I'll add pairs of holes. For a, a two hole device, I'll just put my jig on there. I'll drill two holes, mark the third hole, and that's where I'll cut the angle off. Pretty easy to drill. I don't need to use a drill press or anything. Just go in here and get my starting points. That puts my uh, marks in there for drilling. And then come back with a uh, little bit bigger bit here. This is a I think this is a 1364. You can also use 5 millimeter. Whatever size bit you need to use to fit your particular uh, banana jacks, and then they just fit right in there. Uh, I guess I need to clean out that hole a little bit, get that in there. And so I'll put those in, and then I'll, I'll cut this piece off right here in the bandsaw, clean it up a little bit, and I'll show you what it looks like. And there we go, cut this off on the bandsaw, I drill a couple of little mounting holes. And then I can mount this up on the wall. Usually I put this up, that way all the wiring is up and out of the way. And uh, the way this works is I can come in here with my wires on top and I put ring terminals on the ends of the wires, drop them over the plus and minus uh, terminals. And then if I need to extend the circuit, I can just run off of this side or you know whichever side I need to. But yeah, with these, these you also have the ability to stick banana plugs in the side. You can use this as a binding post if you just need to temporarily hook up a wire. You got, you know, you can plug your plugs in there. Sometimes the plugs have additional holes. So I really like the banana plugs. They make a really nice, uh, flexible system. You do all your wiring up here, come in with a ring terminal, you can run out and uh, Nice thing is just need a nut driver here to uh, loosen and tighten the nuts. Yeah, it works pretty good for um, low voltage wiring. At least on this particular Nana Jack, this piece you need to retain because it's got the squared off holes and that's what you know allows you to use this binding post feature. So that keeps this terminal from spinning when you loosen and tighten this. That's why I drill the uh, holes to match these dual jacks and yeah there's one of those I built myself another one while I had my jig out but this uh, jig really helps make these you know if I need uh, a four post version I just mark off four posts and cut it here if I need six mark off six and cut it at the seventh hole so it was worth the time to make that just a little scrap of uh, channel I put the uh, drill hole size that I need on there Nice thing is with these, I don't really have to think about it. You know, I don't really have to do any measuring. Or I just buy a length of the angle and I can make a whole bunch of these. So these end up maybe costing, I don't know, $2 or something like that. Pretty, pretty inexpensive. Since I use a lot of these, I try to make them all the same. Really nice just having a kind of an off-the-shelf design that I can make a pretty nice looking plug for my low voltage wiring there's you know other options you can do but as far as the price and the flexibility it's kinda of hard to beat and I'll, I'll show you some of my other variations of this 